Okay, guys, so this video is an unfortunate one. It's, I'm gonna probably keep it short because, because it's actually a really simple situation turned tragic. As you can see from the title, a man got drunk in his own house and his wife called the police on him. His wife, his girlfriend, it's unclear which, but either way, it's disturbing. The police show up, talk to the wife on the porch briefly, and then walk in the man's house. And it ends in a matter of seconds with the man losing his life to the police officers. And I wanna make something very clear. I love the police. I have great respect for people that serve in uniform to protect people. As I criticize the situation, I'm not disparaging them in any way. This is a very rare scenario. And like I said, it's very sad. But yet again, the degenerate female psyche, obviously powered through feminism and an entitlement to control a man's emotional landscape. Oh my gosh, he has to be just like me. Any sort of difference is oppression. If men manifest their emotionality different than women, oh my gosh, that's literally tyrannical. <laughs> patriarchy. You have to watch out for women like this because they will call the police if you say the wrong thing to them in a moment of weakness in your own house. What's going on? Hey, uh, I have way too much to drink and okay. I don't really quite... This woman is waiting on the porch for police to get there to at her husband's house. I'm just going to, I'm going to assume that she's his wife. It's even worse if she's his girlfriend because then his girlfriend got like, it's, it's terrible. Hey, uh, I had way too much to drink, and okay. I don't really quite understand what he's upset about. Uh, Notice her first thing she says to the police, which would be your primary concern. The police show up. You're going to immediately tell them the first thing that's the problem. The first thing she says to the officer is, I'm not sure what he's upset about. Meaning her concern is that he's upset. Not that he physically hit her, because he didn't, and that'll be proven. Not that he even threatened her, as she's about to admit. It's that he's upset with her. Guys, it gets, it gets way worse. Um, but it's a little bit out of control. It's a little bit out of control. Oh my gosh. This is the reason they demonize masculinity. This is the reason feminism demonizes masculinity because, because any of the manifest of psychological differences between men and women are completely untenable. And because they reference an objective aspect to reality that is comprehensible and not adherent to their ideology, it's considered oppression and completely untenable to them. None of this, by the way, all of what I just said is way too high IQ for this woman to even understand. But it's the reason she's doing what she's doing. Um, he does have a lot of guns in the basement. He's a hunter, things okay. like that. He's not. This is okay. Do they even have the comments on? I'd be okay. Th this is this is insane. Yeah. Okay. Good. The comments. The comments are based. The comments are based. Oh my gosh. Okay. So, the first thing she said was that I'm not sure why he's upset. The second thing is he has a lot of guns in his basement. She's trying to exact revenge on him for however he made her feel. Oh my gosh, yeah, he made me feel this way. He, I didn't like it when he yelled at me in his own house. And, and so now, yeah, you got to go inside. I called the police for this. He does have a lot of guns in the basement. He's a hunter, things okay. like that. He's not f***ing me specifically. Right. But I am not able to reach him. Okay. I don't really understand what's happening. Not able to reach him. She's standing on the front porch. She was obviously inside before. They had some sort of argument. She left to call the police. He's not publicly intoxicated. He's not at a bar. He's on his own property, in his own house, getting drunk. Is it a crime to get drunk in your own house? Guys, this is why it's so important to choose your wife carefully. She cannot be possessed by feminism or her resentment for your nature. Her resentment for how she's noticeably different than you will play out. And when that happens, because women have no way to objectively interface with reality, they will seek only retribution. Because that's the only thing that a degenerate female psyche understands. That's also the reason why men built the world and not women. Yes. No, he's calling us all kinds of names, oh, okay. all very derogatory, things like that. He's okay. not saying I'm gonna... calling you names, derogatory, that's not a crime. Oh, he hurt your feelings. You don't understand what his problem is. None of this is a crime, and you called the police. Kill you. Oh, I see. Nothing I got you. Like that. Okay. Things like that. He's okay. not saying I'm going to kill you. Oh, I see. Nothing I got you. Like he's that. not saying that. Okay, so she's trying to cover her bases because she knows that something could happen here. Okay. She created the situation. No, okay. No, but... What's his name? Vincent. Oh, Vincent? Uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. You just want to hang out here with my partner? Oh, this is so weird. Okay. I do, okay. absolutely. My dog is very sweet. She's big. She's not... Oh, I'm yeah. good with dogs. Hey. 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 Where is he right now? He's uh, probably in the basement. If you want, I can lead you through. It's not uh, like a bad situation. I got you. Yeah. Whoa, 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 whoa! Oh, 
for all of the degeneracy that is the woman's fault. She's the one who created the situation. She brought the police to their house while her husband was in um, a mind altered state, which he's allowed to do, by the way, all over her feelings being hurt and quote, not knowing what type of emotional problems going on and immediately telling the officers he has guns in the basement. Oh, haha, -ha, that's an innocent detail. I want to make something super clear. I would not choose to do this. Even though there have been countless cases of police officers coming into somebody's house, getting shot, and then that being thrown out in court because they entered the house without a warrant. But unfortunately, this guy's not even going to have his day in court because his wife called the police because he hurt her feelings. He drank three too many beers and hurt his wife's feelings, and now he's not around anymore. You can debate whether what he did was legal or not legal. I would not have done what he did. But those are the facts. His wife called the police to exact retribution on her husband for using, quote, derogatory and offensive language. Do the fucking gun! Do the fucking See, okay, th there's one more thing I need to say before I um, show you the other body cam review, if I'm even going to do that, which is that the consequences for objective reality, especially those of violence, conflict between men, women are shielded from those consequences, and so they don't always learn from them. For this woman's degeneracy, he paid the price, and she did not pay the price. She called the police on her drunk husband who had guns in the basement because he hurt her feelings and now he's dead. Because she's a woman living in the 21st century, she's been told and programmed that objective reality is offensive. You don't have to consider the consequences of your actions. This is in direct alignment with the doctrine of feminism which says any objectivism, any coherence is considered to be oppression, is considered to be a masculine standard that is socially constructed and corrupted. This is how women are brought up. When they start a fight, when they instigate a situation that's unsafe, when they create any type of real world consequences, you often see them surprised, like, oh my gosh, how did this happen? Because they aren't trained to think beforehand that that could happen, whereas men immediately know. And I, I notice this even in really small ways, like when you're walking on the sidewalk, and there's a really big guy on the sidewalk. Men immediately know, okay, we're gonna walk around this guy because the consequences of physical, of a physical altercation with this guy might be bad for me, because they know that that's on the table. Whereas women are like, oh my God, why are you in the sidewalk? You're blocking the path of my Pomeranian. As they're like walking their dog. That's reckless behavior. But that's just a tiny microcosm of the way women operate. They don't understand. Many of them don't understand. I will say the married ones tend to understand more because they have a more fully integrated psyche given the masculine dichotomy of consciousness. But, but especially the single women who believe everything is socially constructed and are told by feminism that masculinity is oppression. They actually associate consequences and the... the objective reality that consequences derive from to be oppression itself. I don't know if I really need to show you the, uh, the uh, body cam of the other officer's view. It's basically the same thing, but here it is again. Okay. She's literally waiting on her porch to exact vengeance. I don't really quite understand what he's upset about. I don't really quite understand what he's uh, upset about. Why is he upset? I called the police for this. Oh my God. Um, but it's a little bit out of control. It's out of control. Did he hit you? No. Did he threaten you? No, not at all. My feelings are just hurt, which is worse. Um, he does have a lot of guns in the basement. He's a hunter. Second thing she says, I can't believe that's the second thing she says. Her things like that, he's not <laughs> specifically. Right. But I am not able to reach him. Okay. I don't really understand what's happening. So he's not anything, he's just. The officer asks her, he's not threatening you, right? No, he's not calling us all kinds of names. Oh, okay. He's calling us names. You, I called you here for this. Oh. Very derogatory things like that. He's, He's calling us names and it's derogatory as the reason she called the police. You should not get a wife like this. They are a liability. When their feelings get hurt, they will call the police on you. I'm not saying I'm going to tell you. I'm saying I got you. And they could tell the police anything. Anything. She called, this woman actually called the police and admitted that she called them for no reason. And they still went in. What the f*** going on? No. Okay. No. But. And what's his name? Vincent. Vincent. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Oh, Bro. You see the immediate move from female delusion and narcissism to real world consequences that fast. That's how starkly women live out of reality. Did you hear what she said? She said there's no problem. Uh, like a bad situation? She just said it's not a bad situation. One second later, they're drawing guns. In the basement, if you want, I can lead you through. It's not uh, like a bad situation. It's not a bad situation? She mentions guns again. Yeah. 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 Okay, so... I'm not a lawyer. I'm not sure how this could be argued in court if, you know, the fact they didn't have a warrant 
or if they're allowed to go in or what the state's laws are. I don't even know what state this happened in. So I'm not talking about the legality of it. I don't know those details. You guys could probably find out those details for me and leave them in the comments. But I'm talking about the degeneracy of the fact that this was possible, that this happened. That the woman called the police because her feelings were hurt and he was calling them names while being drunk in his own house. And he's not here anymore. He doesn't get to share his side of the story. We'll never know. All because, oh my God, my feelings are hurt. I've been raised outside these standards of consequences. We'll never even know if her intentions were even more malicious than she's letting on. It's very possible. There are women like that. <sighs> So sad, so tragic. Choose your wives carefully, guys. Again, I would not have chosen to do what this guy did, but I know a lot of men would. If someone comes into your house, even if they are police without a warrant, I know a lot of guys that, yeah, it's, it's all over. That's the video, guys. The central tenet of this mental illness of an ideology is that it denies reality. And it finds objectivism to be offensive and oppressive. So with that in mind, subscribe to the channel, go check out my other base videos, and expect more in the future.